Citizens of that town, by mayoral decree, the following episode may cover topics the likes of which may trigger your timbers. Consider yourselves duly notified. Citizens of that town, this is the mayoral emergency situation broadcast. Now, chances are, my dearest that townians, that this broadcast system has been activated purely by accident. I am a busy man with a myriad of buttons at my disposal to better serve and protect you. However, in the case that it has been activated on purpose, stay inside. Have an ice cream day. Yes, I'm, I'm sure whatever is happening will blow over with minimal ecological impacts and societal consequences, and there will be little need to contact your insurance rep. This has been your loving and caring mayor. Be safe, be strong, and be sure to listen to all the ads that are sure to follow up this message, as rigging up all these emergency broadcast systems costs money. And the only way to recoup such financial ventures is from friendly capitalism. Okay, I think that was all the talking points. Ever felt so frustrated you just wanted to eat your next door neighbor? If the answer is yes, you're probably a zombie. Or turning into one, Zomclave, the new miracle drug that'll help keep your animalistic urges in check and keep your neighbors healthy, happy, and out of your stomach. Warning, side effects may include complete zombification, second death, triple death, ultra death, final death, and death. Film at 11. Bubba here for the Choke and Puke here to tell you about our vegan options. There's only one option, and that's to get the hell out of my store with that hippie bullshit. I'm a meat and potatoes fella, and that's all we have. Seriously, even our salad is just a mound of bacon covered in syrup. Bubba's hometown Choke and Puke, located on the Forest Expressway across from Happy Time Auto Sales. Remember, kids, anything's a drive through if you have enough momentum. The mayoral emergency radio broadcast system has been activated. Please stay near your radio and remain calm. What's the worst that could happen? This program was sponsored by Psycho Inc. Ready to get your freak on? Ready to get your freak on, party people? Well, now you can with some Psycho, Psycho Inc. Warning, possible side effects include, but are not limited to, insanity, cannibalism, zombification, and death. Please drink responsibly. Hey, yeah, one, two, three, four. <laughs> At least we aren't a number station. Six, nine, twelve, twelve, five, eighteen, twenty, five. 24, 20. Dedication. In order to be more relatable to the people of Alabama, I have adopted this accent, which is trashier than my normal voice. Compassion. I ain't never made nobody disappear that didn't deserve it. I'm just kidding. I only break kneecaps. Reliability. I promise to uphold the lack of standards and morality this great state has provided for the last 200 years. Most importantly, he's not Mayor Jason. Yeah, he's literally a bag of dicks. Shit, I forgot the accent. Vote for me in 2018 and stuff might happen. I can't be any worse than the other people, am I right? This has been the paid advertisement for the James C. Burton Cooper Tutorial Campaign. For patriots who think Mayor Jason sits me in peace. Now playing Mayoral Address Archive from January 4th, 2016. First, the week's PSA, followed by the weekly mayoral briefing. The PSA. Greetings and salutations, fellow citizens of that town. I come to you this evening from my palatial mayoral abode to implore your help with an issue 
striking our fair city in waves like I've never seen before. I come to you this evening to address a matter which has been weighing upon my conscience as of late. Throughout the highways and byways of our fair city, I see piles of garbage, human and otherwise, adorning the curbs which ought to be more pleasing to the eye than the finest Rembrandt. This can no longer go on. So to counteract this, I am enacting a vast reduction. It pains me to say these words. I don't remember the last time that I used such a sentence. But I am moved to cut taxes in light of this plague. Effective immediately. The firearm and ammunition tax is lowered from 50% to 15%. So that the citizenry may arm itself to fight pollution and help clean up our streets, both literally and figuratively. Now why, you ask, am I not lowering the 76% garbage bag tax? Or the 47% broom and mop tax? Because I have a vision for this city that is only cast in projectile form. Permits notwithstanding for the proposed detergent gun that Michael brought to me last week. We'll get to that at another time. Coinciding with this tax reduction, local marksman and avant-garde about town, Tyler Murphy, will be giving shooting lessons at the local range. And if by the end of a single lesson you are not able to shoot the dick off a bee, Tyler says it's free. Cost to be determined based upon one's wealth and station in life. I thank you, my friends, in helping to curb this disastrous disease of uncleanliness that has befraught our lovely town. Thank you, and good night. This message was paid for by the Office of Mayor Jason. Now, the briefing. As I was saying, I've called you all here today for our weekly mayoral briefing. Now, what have you? Uh, well, my firearms lessons are going along nicely. I've made a lot of money. Um, you know, pretty easy to teach idiots to point and click. Excellent news! This citywide cleanup effort is something I really want undertaken with the utmost sincerity. Magic Man, what have you? Well, I mean, you know, not a whole lot going on this week, I guess. I, tr I tried with the trash golems again. Um, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, please don't. Golems always hide their weak points in the middle, and I really don't like diving in after a bunch of broken bottles and glass shards. It's just, it's not fun, Mike. It's not fun. You keep making magical creatures for me to fight, typically that's a good thing. I don't like golems of any variety. Look, I'm just giving you more XP. These golems are disconcerting. If there's anything shambling about the streets of this town, I want it working for me, damn it! We've settled most of the golems. There might be one or two hiding out somewhere. Uh, they usually announce their presence, not hide, though, so I think we're okay. Also... There's nothing really keeping me from making them work for you. Just throwing that out there. It's just a bad image. I mean, you can polish it up. You can't polish a literal pile of garbage, Mike. You can polish a turd, but it's still a turd. It's a polished looking turd. Who cares? No, we're now getting back to the sewage golems. That was even worse. We're not we, going, we're we not going down that <laughs> I want these things in my office this afternoon. That sound like a good idea to you? Mr. Mayor? I have not yet begun to defile myself. You understand these things are like 20 feet tall and made entirely of garbage. You'll have to sanitize this place for a week. We'll use alternate meeting chamber number 46. Is that the one on 2nd Avenue? It's the one near the wine cellar. You should know this. Sorry, I lost my SOP book. It, it's probably somewhere in the woods. I'll track it down. That contains valuable mayoral intellectual property. People could find that and have all of my cocktail recipes. Yeah, and your doodled little cartoons of doggies. You are not to reference the woofers! And the small little subwoofers. <laughs> and the birds. Nor are you to reference the tweeters! Thank you all for wasting my time with this meeting that I scheduled. We'll see you next week. Maybe, if I feel like it. Kind of want some french fries. Why was this archive playing during an emergency situation broadcast? Because Psycho Inc. wanted it to. Speaking of, 
Let's hear from our emergency situation broadcast beverage of choice, Psycho, Inc. Let's get psycho! Feel like this party needs to be turned up a notch? Get it going with some psycho! Psycho, Inc! Warning, possible side effects include, but are not limited to, insanity, cannibalism, zombification, and death. Please drink responsibly. Let's get psycho! Has this ever happened to you? I done sprained my dedula abengada, Mitch got me paid! I haven't helped many clients get the money that they are owed. I do not stop until the insurance company settles for the price that I want them to pay. I didn't think I could make two million dollars off of a meth lab explosion! These are real clients. Just listen to some of their cases. I done climbed on the infield wall and I got hit by Dale Jr. One hundred million dollars. I roofied myself down in PCB. Seventy-five dollars. I tore the tag off a mattress at the Motel 6. I got her her money back. I'm Mitch Duckworthberg. Yes, that's Jewish. And I will take your shitty case. If you're hearing this recording, that means that everyone that works at the radio station is currently not in the radio station. Probably due to something attacking the town, attacking Mayor Jason, something bugging Mayor Jason, someone having to do taxes, someone that didn't do their taxes, or a kudzu monster. <laughs> I'm just kidding about the last one. <laughs> oh man, could you imagine? It'd be hell, it's like a tentacle monster, but way worse because it's, you know, wanting to murder and there's probably not a sentience there because plants don't have brains. Oh god, it'd be, it'd be the worst because you couldn't set on fire if you want water in it. Kind of show this week, different kind of credits. Tales of That Sound is a production of That Sound Entertainment. This episode was written by everyone appearing in it, so we'll get to that in just a moment. It was directed by Michael Murphy, James Burton, Joshua Singer, and Jesse Hall. All guitar work was performed by the only Zach Fragoso I know, so, no, that dude. This episode stars Tyler Murphy as Tyler, Michael Murphy as Michael, Jason Smith as Mayor Jason. James Burton as James, Bubba, and additional voices. Ashley Jones as AI voice. Joshua Singer as announcer Josh. Jesse Hall as Jesse and additional voices. And guest starring Mitch Duckworth as Mitch and additional voices. On social media, you can find us at That Town Entertainment on YouTube, Tumblr, and Facebook. On Twitter, we're at Tales of That Town and at This Is That Town. A little bit of housekeeping, there are no outtakes this week. Just the fervent hope that this episode was funny enough to stand on its own. I mean... I mean, I know it was funny enough to stand on its own, but, but you guys, you guys think it was, it was, it's funny, right? Right? It was, it was funny, it made, it made you laugh. 